Hey, I'm Elliot, and this is the Everything Elliot YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to rebuild a double rod end hydraulic cylinder. This rod cylinder came off of a snowblower. Uh, actually, it's the one that is attached to my tractor back there. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reinstalling uh, some parts that were worn out, and then we are going to reinstall it back onto the machine. So this is a double rod end cylinder. That means that the actual piston stays put and the cylinder moves back and forth on it. Uh, this is especially handy for my snowblower for the simple fact that this is what rotates the chute. This allows the chute to rotate both left and right. Now since this uh, piston was so old, I actually had to take it to a hydraulic shop and they had to match parts up just by measuring. Uh, there was nothing that was super commercially available. There was no numbers on it. So, um, they were actually nice enough to put the seal or the wipers in the ends for me um, since they had it sitting there. So less work I have to do, I guess. So this piece has got some rough edges on it. I'm just going to take a piece of sandpaper real quick and sand it down so it's nice and smooth. So when you're putting together a hydraulic cylinder, you want to make sure everything's super clean. So now that I sanded this down, I have to clean it off first. Uh, I'm going to do that just by simply using some brake clean. So I'm going to try to clean up some of this, uh, some of this dirt out of here because this actually is what seals onto the tube. So we'll try to uh, get some of that on there. Now this is also going to be very tight uh, because of the seals. The seals need to sit tight inside of here. Uh, this already has some oil in it. Wow, and a lot of metal shavings. Well, I'm glad I checked that. You always want to make sure the interior of the cylinder is clean before uh, you put it in there. That could have ruined everything I just did. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this all out before I get started. So this side I can't get the parts off of because there seems to be some um, metal here. So we'll just go ahead and give this a quick file. All right, let's give it a try now. Slides right off. Now when putting this in here, you wanna be super careful not to ding the sides as best you can. Get in there as straight as you can. Okay, now that we got it in there, let's start reinstalling our parts. All right, I got all the metal parts in there done. All right, once you've got all your internal parts in there, you're gonna start installing your seals. So these seals need to be all the way in there. Um, so we're gonna try to uh, just get that in there by hitting this on a piece of wood on the ground. As you can see, I just tapped it a couple times. You don't have to hit it super hard and it gets them all in the way in there. Uh, there's a little lip there, but when we put this on, that'll finish the job.
All right. There we go. Just give it a little bit of muscle. We got both sides pretty close to being all the way in. Might be close enough that we could put our ends on and have it work. All right, so once you got your parts back in, you're gonna to wanna to take your threaded rod and just feed it back through. Flip it over, do the same thing for the other side. Now I'm not putting the lock washers on here yet because I just can't fit them on. Uh, the seals need to seat before that'll happen. So I'm just going to start tightening this up. And we'll see what happens. All right, now that we've got it all together, let's uh, make sure it's nice and tight. And then we will uh, put our new, put some tape on these and install these all the way. Now the threads in this one are pretty well buggered because the last fitting broke off. So I am going to be putting on more tape than normal just to fill in some of those gaps. And you just want to make sure that's good and tight there. All right, now that you got both these on, it's time to go test it. All right, guys, you just sit here and watch me struggle while I attempt to put this line back on. I had the screwdrivers in there.
All right, let's test it. Well, the snowblower chute is back up in action. Glad I finally got that project done. Uh, if you have any other questions on how to put back together a double rod end hydraulic cylinder, make sure you leave a comment below. Uh, thanks, and have a great day.